going to talk you through a fantastic project we did in Bramall about three years ago. So this is the garden before we started. The lawn was extremely waterlogged. It was an amazing house, but the back garden really uh, let the side down. So you can see the paving was uh, installed badly many, many years ago. Um, just looked a real mess and didn't match the house at all. So we produced um, a plan of the garden. So we retain a big lawn, but we've got a load of drainage uh, and new soil to go in to help, help uh, that drain properly. So you can actually walk across it. It's a greenhouse here. The client wanted to spend a lot more time in the garden um, and uh, do their own vegetables as well as maintaining the garden and enjoying it as it matured. We've got uh, a lot of paving for seating and dining areas and then a path around the garden um, in um, stabilised gravel. We've also done detailed drawings uh, including a steel pergola which is made in core 10 steel which rusts naturally and creates a really pleasant uh, look. This is the project underway. So we're using Marshall's Sorn Vassuro paving in large format flags and you can see we've built the base for the greenhouse in uh, brickwork. We were installing the garden during Covid so we obviously had to adhere to all the safety regulations. Um, installation of a, a large tree and then this is soon after completion so you can see that there's the raised vegetable beds here also made of core 10 steel to match the pergola. The, the plantings are yet to mature and this shows the gravel path running down to a gin and tonic patio at the bottom of the garden. And then a few years later the planting has really matured creating a really pleasant effect with it slightly overhanging the path. Uh, this is a great view of the dining area and in the bottom of the garden you can see the gin and tonic patio there. Seating area, we've got some lovely clay paviors um, to create a different uh, surface to the main dining area. And this is a bespoke court and steel water feature which creates a lovely noise and drowns out the noises from the gardens either side. It's a good way of distracting from that. And this shows the wisteria growing up, the court and steel pergola and the vegetables have started to grow in the vegetable beds. And this is the Hartley Botanical Greenhouse, um, which really is a, a professional job and we've got cold frames for uh, bringing on seedlings, etc. 